as I did more implants, it bought me more time. It gave me more flexibility to take time off, to take more risks, to do things like that. And then as I continued my implant journey and got deeper into implant education and clinical skills, we've been misled to believe that dentistry, more specifically the dental business, has to be complicated. Dentistry can be simple and dentistry should be simple. Welcome to another episode of the Dentistry Made Simple podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Turin Agarwal, and this week I am once again joined by Meredith Cooper Jones. Look, this week we're going to talk about something that has completely changed the way I practice dentistry, how I run my business, and I want you to be in this too. I want you to understand why, how, and where to get started and why you need to get started in placing dental implants. But before we get into this week's episode, let me turn it over to Meredith, and she's going to talk to you about different things going on here at 3D Dentists. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Before we get into today's episode, I just want to give a shout out to our number one sponsor, 3D Dentists. Um, if you're looking to change the way you practice, just reach out to us. We're happy to help and see where we can help you in your practice. Uh, today, I have a review. So if you have not left us a review on either Apple Podcasts, Spotify, wherever you listen to your podcasts, we would absolutely appreciate it. Also, if you've attended a 3D Dentist course or you've just received help through the 3D Dentist platform, our team, um, a Google review would be would be great. This is where I'm reading a review from today. So the 3D Digital Implant Tooth Replacement Therapy course was hands down the best CE I've ever attended. Everyone at 3D is there to help you learn and give you a great experience. It starts before you even arrive at the retreat and continues well after the course is over. The classroom time focused on teaching relevant information and practical ways to integrate what we learn into practice. The hands-on patient portion gave me confidence to place implants on my own and to improve upon my extractions and grafts. All of the faculty really want you to learn and do well when you get home. They are readily available to answer questions anytime, even months after it's over. Staying at the retreat was a great experience too. I didn't want to leave and look forward to future courses. So come have your vacation with us. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? That's, that's where what some people, that's what we are here yeah. at the retreat. It's vacation, right? I, I people joke when they come to the retreat. I, I feel like I'm on vacation. I'm like, this is a very busy vacation. <laughs> I like to just chill. <laughs> um, but if you are looking to get started into implants, which is kind of what we're going to talk about today, then um, 3D Dentist, there's no better place where we provide. Um, kind of the full package. It's totally immersive at the retreat. You're able to learn, hang out, um, chill, talk dentistry all night if you'd like. Uh, and then we take you over to the clinic where you do the dentistry on live patients that we provide for you. So you're able to learn, give back to the community, and really uh, benefit your practice when you get back because you'll be doing things the same way you're doing things here. The other thing is we really take pride in your team. So you are welcome to bring team members to learn. And then when you get back, it's, you know, it takes off on day one. You don't feel like you're overwhelmed with just trying to teach your assistant everything you learned over the last six days. So uh, let's kind of get into today's episode. We'll start with um, how implants have kind of changed your career and, you know, just maybe let's start with why implants? Yeah. Or why did you get into implants or what did you see in it? Well, you know, for me, it's always about, uh, I will always, I try to be intentional. Right. Okay. And I want to, want to be very clear with everybody. I, I've talked about this before, but I got into dental implants out of necessity in 2008 <clears throat> because I needed to change my practice. I needed to increase revenue. I needed to do things better. And really the why boils down to three different things for most pra most dentists, okay? One is we need more money. Two, we need more time. Or three, we need more enjoyment or satisfaction. And for me, at that time, it was all about more revenue, more money for me and my practice, okay? So that's what got me started. What I didn't realize was the impact and really the change that dental implants would be. Again, I started because I needed to increase revenue in my practice, based on the econ just based on where my practice was and more so because of the economic times. And then what I found was as I started doing more implants, uh, you know, doing good foundational business strategy that had grown my practice to that point, as I did more implants, it bought me more time. It gave me more flexibility to take time off, to take more risks, to do things like that. 
And then as I continued my implant journey and got deeper into implant education and clinical skills, what I also got was more satisfaction and more joy to the point now where 70, 80% of what I do uh, in my clinical practice is dental implant related. And it's completely changed everything that we do. And what I want to, what I want for everybody is, is to learn it. Now, some of you say, well, I'm not surgically oriented. I'm, I wasn't either. I, I didn't take out a tooth, you know, for five or six years in my practice. I didn't do anything with blood. I was afraid of blood in dental school and even in the beginning stages of my practice. But because I was, it was necessitated for me, I learned to enjoy it. And it's, it's turned into something amazing for me in my career. And I just want you to be a part of that too. And I, I want to share that message with you this, uh, this, this episode. Yeah. So um, we kind of talked about, you know, why, why get into implants and, you know, the satisfaction. I feel like a lot of people, I, I, well, I want to mention that in our last mastermind, you know, somebody said that money can't buy you happiness. Yeah. And so, but sometimes a combination of the time and the money, right, can kind of create that satisfaction. Like for someone who wants to take, you know, more time off, it's not worth it to them if they're worrying about money the whole time or they're worrying about getting back to the practice and having loads and loads of things to do when they get back or the patients just kind of build up. Uh, but also it's not always the money that they're worried about. It's just the patient load. Yeah. It's the headaches of yeah. running a business, you know, and the, 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 you know, look, part of life is you always need more yeah. money, right? We always have greater expenses generally, you know, through, Seasons. through a certain different, yes, you know, right. through a certain growth spurt at least. And, and then as we get bigger, because we've been taught to, to make more, you got to get yeah. busier and busier and busier. Uh, and then it becomes more and more pressure yeah. on the dentist, especially if you're a solo practitioner, you got to be there. You got to be available for your patients. You got to be available for your team members. It just becomes overwhelming. Right. And that's why so many dentists get burned out. And that's one of the reasons I'm less burned out. It's not that I don't have ups and downs. Right. You know, I'm human, but I'm less burned out less often than most dentists because I've chosen to do procedures, to do things that satisfy, satisfy. my need for money, right. give me time off so I can recharge and give me joy and happiness in the dentistry I'm yeah. doing. Uh, so that that's kind of been the keys for me yeah. to be successful. Yeah, well, that's that's kind of the why. Let's talk about um, what you call highly productive and highly profitable, but maybe just the economics of yeah. what implants can do for you in the practice and what they are. Yeah, so let's, let's kind of turn over to the iPad and I'll walk you through this. I've done some sketching here. For those of you uh, that are listening in your ears, uh, you can turn over to our YouTube channel, uh, 3D Dentist on YouTube, and you can watch our podcast. You can see my beautiful face, see Meredith's uh, uh, even more beautiful face. Face or radio. Face or radio. <laughs> you, you haven't that? said that in a I while. Haven't. I haven't. Uh, but, you know, we want you to subscribe to our channel. There's so much on our YouTube channel, uh, more than the podcast. There's clinical stuff. There's just a lot there. But let's take a look here, okay? Uh, implant dentistry is highly productive and highly profitable. And there's two components of that we look at when we're talking about profitability uh, with dental implants. One is the time. It's the most expensive overhead item we have. It's your chair, chair time. It's, uh, you know, how much time you spend doing a procedure, blah, 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 blah. And, and really, I, I break chair time down into two things for dental implants. There's the 60 minutes of surgery, which is typically what I schedule for anywhere from one to three uh, green light implants. So, you know, in the situation where you know, I'm doing one or two implants side by side. It's not like I do one implant for an hour and I do two implants for two hours. It's not, it doesn't work that way. Kind of like if you're doing an occlusal filling on 18 and you're doing an occlusal filling on 19, it doesn't really double your time. It literally only adds a few more minutes of time to your procedure. And that's what creates productivity and restorative dentistry. But implant dentistry is just productive to begin with because it's a more specialized procedure that pays better. So, I, I dedicate about 60 minutes of my time to place the implant in about 30 minutes, even though we schedule everything for 60 minutes, about 30 minutes to deliver the screw retained implant crown. So for this 90 minutes of time, I get about $3,500 in revenue. That's for a typical green light case. Maybe in your practice, it's a little bit less. Maybe in your practice, it's a little bit or a lot more. But that's, that's typically what we're seeing in the market is about $3,500 
for a green light posterior implant start to finish. And that's about 90 minutes of time, of chair time for the doctor, okay? So that's our top line revenue that we get, okay? Then we have to look at our COGS or cost of goods sold. Our cost of goods sold on a, uh, on a dental implant procedure from start to finish is the implant itself. I'm going to allow $350, although it can be as low as $200 up to $400 or $500 if, if you choose to waste your money on super expensive implants. But we uh, do recommend an implant that has a, a rep and, and the value there. Yeah, too. of course. Absolutely. You know, and, and that's it's not why, always the cheapest route. It's that's why I best. recommend the $300, $350 implant. It's very reasonable to get dental implants at yeah. that price and get good customer service. Now, if you're paying a premium price and not getting premium service, change. You know, that, that's how I look at it. Uh, then our surgical guide. Uh, I believe in guided surgery. Um, your surgical guide can anywhere be from $100 to $300. Now, some of you are saying, well, I print my own guide, so it only costs me $2. Look, you got to plan the implant. You got to, you know, there's just your yeah. assistant time. There's just time involved in this stuff, okay? Yeah. So that's why I give it I at least $100 <laughs> to it. And if you completely outsource it in a done-for-you manner, it's going to be about $300 to get that surgical guide made. And then I bundle the abutment crown because we are firm believers in the screw retain implant crown, especially with guided implant placement. And this can be anywhere from uh, $150 to $400 per unit. And all in, this gives you a cost of goods sold of somewhere in the $600 ballpark to $1,000 ballpark. And, and the reality in my practice at the level of volume and that we're buying it, I, my cost of goods sold is in the $400 ballpark for a single implant start to finish. So that gives us a gross margin somewhere between $2,500 to $2,900. And for me, it's bordering around $3,000 in my practice uh, of my gross margin uh, for this 90 minutes of time. And what most general dentists will find is that if you can get $3,000, $2,500 to $3,000 for a hour and a half of your time, that's way better than a crown. That's way better than a quadrant of fillings. It's one of the most profitable times uh, you know, procedures you can do for the amount of time in your practice. So that's why it's highly productive, highly profitable procedure. And when you get into this, that's where you start seeing that, wow, you know, instead of if in theory, if I could do 15 implants instead of 15 crowns per month, imagine what would happen. That would go from 15 imp crowns, you know, at a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars each to suddenly 15 implants to about three thousand dollars each after you take out the cost of materials, you know, now suddenly you're doubling, you know, you're doubling your revenue, doubling your production. And with that doubling, you can either choose to make double the money or you can choose to say, you know what, I'm going to work half the time. And, and that's kind of where implant dentistry led me is to, to kind of get started out of, out of force and necessity, go down this rabbit hole and really see, oh my God, look what's happening. Look what's changing for me. Uh, and that's kind of uh, really changed uh, everything for me in my practice. Yeah. Well, if you feel like you're doing implants, but they're not productive, they're not highly profitable, um, we have a couple options for you I, I want to mention. Um, you you are welcome to audit or, you know, I say audit if you're already doing implants, but our first three days of our tooth replacement therapy is the didactic portion. And you're welcome to come and just kind of learn the workflow. So we do start to finish from extraction graft to even the workflow of the crown. We don't do the design and all of that, but we do the workflow of delivering the crown. So that's that's start to finish, super valuable in making your procedures more productive. Um, if you're looking to be more profitable, we have a 3D printing and implants course. And there we look more into designing um, your own cases. We, we have guides and abutments and kind of all things 3D printing, which is, you know, ever-changing, ever-learning technology and just keeping up with the times to make things more profitable, more productive. Yeah. And that's kind of what we do at 3D Dentist is make sure that the technology is up to par. So if you've been doing implants for a while, you feel confident in your clinical skills or your surgical skills, but want to you know, raise the level of technology and workflows, then we're here for you. Um, we've kind of talked about all the good things yes. in dental implants, right? The why, um, the economics, but let's kind of get into all the pros. Let's get into the a little bit of the cons, not really a con, but more like challenges yeah. of getting started with implants and kind of where you need to put your focus. 
Yeah. So, you know, one of the things like, great, if it's so great, what are the challenges uh, that dentists face? You know, why are more dentists not? Because we're still at a point where only about 25, maybe 30 percent of general dentists are surgically placing implants. And I'll argue that number is actually lower if you if you say, you know, are you placing at least 25 implants a year, which is two a month? which is what I believe you need to be doing to at least claim to be somewhat competent and consistent at, at doing this. But, you know, that, that's kind of what I look at. So what are the challenges that most up dentists face? You know, I kind of break that down into three things, okay? Number one is the, ch- the clinical skills, kind of the fear around dental implants, because the truth is, is uh, very few, if any, dental schools really teach you to be competent at dental implants. Now, there's the few that in the school that get to do a rotation, they get to place a few, but nobody really teaches you a, a encompassing workflow of taking care of your patient from beginning to end. And that's really what de- dental implants should be for the general dentist. Now, so there's the fear component of it. Now, there's also the education component of it, you know. So where can you learn how to place dental implants? You know, for those of us that are on a super tight budget, we're cheap, you know, or we just say, you know what, let me just learn a little bit more about it. You know, two resources I would tell you is one is books. You know, Carl Misch makes an amazing book. You know, look, it's probably been around since the 80s, 90s. I, I don't know exactly. Uh, but I was reading it in the mid 2000s, so 20 years ago. Uh, but it was such a good book and gave me such a firm foundational knowledge of dental implants, the, the biology, the mechanics of dental implants. Uh, and, and to me, it's a must read for anybody wanting to do dental implants. The other area is YouTube. You know, we live in a world where you can watch surgeries. So many dentists actively share. People like myself, where you can watch my behind the scenes. All of those things are on YouTube these days. And then, of course, there's the option to go and watch your specialists and ask questions and learn more. But nothing gets over the fear and the necessary knowledge like training, especially live patient training. And that's what I recommend. That's what I've seen work over and over again. You know, with our implant training, you can take it, as Meredith mentioned, as just the didactic and hands-on portion of it, where you learn the lecture and do the hands-on exercises. But the real magic is in the live patient treatment. And the challenge with live patients has traditionally been that you got to travel overseas. And there's some fears with that and some challenges with that. And then, you know, if you want to do it here in the United States, there's licensure issues. And we've overcome all of that here at 3D Dentist, where any dentist that's licensed in the 50 United States in good standing can come here and we can provide patients and you'll do the dentistry on live patients with somebody standing side by side with you to make sure that you're doing it well, but giving you the chance to go through and learn each time you do it. Uh, and, and it's right here in the United States of America. Now, the, other, the challenge with live patient uh, training is it's expensive. Look, it's complicated. It's costly to run these programs, but so worth it. Nothing beats that. So that's the clinical skills side of it. The second side that we often don't think of, uh, most of us jump right into the clinical side, is what I call the busyness or the business side of things. And, and when we're busy, when our practice is full, when we don't have space in our schedule, we go learn all these great procedures that really can transform our practices. But then we have failure to launch because we're too busy. Our team members are distracted by things that don't move the needle. You know, there's not time in our schedule. We don't have time or the energy to implement. And busyness just gets in the way. And, and that's what we try to really focus on in our 3D Business Mastermind is getting rid of the clutter, getting rid of the chaos, getting rid of the busyness, and getting control of your practice. And then a third challenge that patients face, or sorry, dentists face, is patient acceptance. You know, understanding, do we have enough patients? And the truth is we do. You know, I'll have dentists all the time that tell me, my patients, you know, I live in a wealthy area or a well-to-do area, and our patients just aren't missing teeth. I'm like, it's not true. You know, it's just not true. But they can't. If you're in a wealthy area, they can afford it. They can afford it. Great news. <laughs> you know, and then there's patient readiness. And patient readiness has traditionally been about time, fear, and money. Uh, but I'd like to point out to you there's another component of that, and that's trust. And trust is directly related to confidence. You know, confidence in your, you know, your self-confidence and your clinical skills, your team's confidence in how they, you know, how they act around you and how they, you know, your patient picks up on their, on their confidence in you as a clinician. And 
your confidence is as you do more of these procedures, just being matter of fact with patients about being truthful with them, not needing them to say yes, and they say yes even more. So, you know, th these are the challenges, Meredith, that uh, that that dentists are running into in their practices, and and that's you know that's kind of what holds people back from yeah. doing this. Yeah. Well, say I am understa understanding the why, the economics of it, all the pros, all the cons, and I'm ready to get started at implants. How do you? What do you feel is the best plan for that? Yeah. So let's let's talk about that real quick, okay? So hey, I want to get started. You know, and I break getting started down into three kind of things. I'm a newbie dentist. You know, maybe I've taken training, but I've had failure to launch. Or maybe I'm brand new to dental implants. I'm just out of school or, you know, you're mid-career and you're like, oh, I got to shake things up. You know, there's the newbie component of it. There's the person that's placing implants and they're, they need and ready to expand uh, their implant skills. And the third part of it is I want to scale and do more and more and more. They make implants more of what I do. And so if, let's go to the newbie. Okay, the newbie is about extraction and grafts, learning the skills to get sites ready for future dental implants. Um, you know, uh, a percentage of your cases can be immediate placement, but a large percentage of your cases, you know, especially in the posterior, you want to grow abundant bone and create predictability. The second part of it is, you know, green light cases, knowing how to do and recognize what a green light case are these onesie, twosie implant cases uh, that really move the needle in your practice. And then the third part of that is doing it guided because guided creates confidence, it creates efficiency, it creates predictable precision outcomes. And that's and what I've seen with guided for me is it makes my restorative part so much easier because the implants are placed in a way that makes the restoration that much easier and more predictable. <clears throat> and that's what our tooth replacement therapy program is. It's a six-day program. You can take it as a three-day program, didactic and hands-on only, or you can take it as a six-day program, which is the didactic and hands-on, plus three days of live patient training where you work on patients. So that's the newbie dentist. What about the dentist that is um, expanding their career? You know, and what I learned about three, four, five years into my career is I, st I was doing four, you know, three, four, five implants a month, but I was starting to say, say no to three, four, five implants a month. And that's why I needed to learn and expand my clinical skill set, dive deeper into implant dentistry. And for me, that was about sinuses, you know, learning to do bumps, learning to do windows, uh, learning to graft cases so that they can be ready for future implants, and then learning about full arches. And on the full arch side, I, I, I moved into overdentures, and then I moved into all on X cases. And, and the overdentures were about setting up cases for future hybrids. In other words, giving the patient the option, doing the cases surgically so that they had the option to upgrade. So that patient that says, you know what, I just can't afford fifteen, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars now, but I want something better. You know, maybe we have an option that they can get started in the ten, twelve thousand dollar ballpark, the ten grand ballpark, and then they have the option down the road to upgrade to something fixed. Yeah. And that's I mean, they could always win the lottery. Grandma yeah. could leave them some money. You never know. Anything could happen, yeah. right? They could have a kid get out and get kid get out right. of college, and suddenly, you know, they're not paying for that anymore. Yeah. They're not contributing to that anymore. So that's kind of the um, our workflow in Full Arch. And then scaling for me was about getting more into um, case acceptance, diving in deeper and training my team on how to you know better accept cases, understanding the different financing options, uh, doing direct-to-consumer marketing, uh, getting, patient, getting more patients, more at-bats with marketing and understanding what that's involved with. And then, then there's also the digitization where I got more efficient, I got, I made dentistry more affordable, I made it more profitable for me. Uh, so that's the scaling part of it. it. You know, and that's kind of what we do at 3D Dentist, all of that. The TRT program, for those of you that, you know, want to digitize and want to get into dental implants, the, you know, the, the advanced grafting program and the Full Arch Express program, for those of you that are placing implants and want to level up and, and learn how to do more complex cases, and then our scaling your full arch practice and our business classes so that you can scale and digitize, uh, you know, and our printing classes to digitize your implant journey. So that's kind of, you know, where we uh, uh, can really help you uh, grow with all of this stuff. So that, that's kind of, you know, the, the workflow there uh, of getting ready and get and, and 
you know, it, it's it's amazing to me uh, what in looking backwards. Yeah. You know, now I'm a solid 15 plus years into dental implants. And now 70, 80 percent of what I do is dental implants. You know, I'm producing more revenue than I did back then. I work in way less days, um, yeah. picking and choosing who I work on, when I work on them. And it's really given me control, allowed me to pour into my practice, allowed me to have time off to re-energize. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been really amazing in terms of what I've been able to do. Yeah. And I just want to say, like, it's never too late. Would you do it all over again now um, if you weren't doing implants? Yeah. You know, if, if somebody came to me and yeah. just painted this picture for me, right. even at this age, 25 years into dentistry, I'm, I'm still, I'm young. Yeah. I'm 48 yeah. years old. <laughs> but 25 years into dentistry, I would do it again. Yeah. I would argue. I mean, the ROI that, is still there. Yeah. Absolutely. Tenfold. Yeah. And I would argue that the dentist that has 20 years of experience that's yeah. been doing it the traditional way you're going to win at this because your patients trust you. Yeah. You know, you've got this, this, this silent confidence about yeah. you. You've got, you've got a hold on the fundamentals of dentistry, right. you know, and, and you can really dive in and what took me 15 years, you can do in three, four, five years yeah. easily to get there. You just need some guidance. You need some motivation. You need some accountability. And, and that's why we want people to join our family here at 3D Dentist. Yeah. I always, you know, I always say that with the mastermind. I say what the mastermind is, is what you've done in five to ten, what you did in five to 10 years in your practice and are continuing to do. You helped Sully to do in three to five years. And that's kind of how the mastermind was created, right? People came saying, how do I implement these things? How do I do this? And we help, we hope to help you do these things in one to two years um, based on our failures or what we found does and doesn't work. And the same applies for implants. Yeah, absolutely. So we hope to be the full package for implants and more than just the clinical learning. Yeah. So let's tie a bow on this. Uh, look. If, I love if, bows. Yeah. I, 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 see, I see Anna Scott. She loves bows too. Uh, so look, if you want to get into implants or dive into implants deeper, we've got solutions for you. If you want to take control of your practice at 3D Business Mastermind, we've got solutions there. Uh, join the family. Change your practice. Even if you don't choose 3D Dentist and you choose somewhere else, you know, look, just do more, do better, you know, get, keep leveling up uh, because it's amazing what's possible in dentistry. I, I love this profession. I love practicing. I love teaching and training. And I want you to love it too. It's provided an amazing life for me and my family. And I wanted to do the same for you. So share our podcast, share us on uh uh, on social media, you know, send us questions through, in, you know, through all the different social media channels. We want to hear from you and uh, keep making uh, amazing, uh, keep doing amazing things at your practice. We'll see you guys next week. 